good to see a fellow knight. Finally, someone without a pissy attitude around here. I'm going to need help restoring this outpost and enforcing some discipline on this squad. Here's my original report that Sergeant Pilly refused to endorse. Give it a read. I've outlined what needs to be done. Dun -dun, there's a blip. For me. Yes? They're relatively inexperienced and their commander died in the assault. Most of the squad are fine. It's just Sergeant Pilly and Levy Daniels. He was mortally wounded by an explosion. I initially suspected it was a landmine. However, having since seen Pilly throw a grenade, misfortune seems more plausible. He's got the idea in his head that this squad is his. So he's trying to force a promotion by acting like a raging bellend. By all accounts, Pilly demonstrated courage during the assault. But he won't even commit to doing the training required for command. He is in dire need of explosives training, but he doesn't think he needs it. He does, regardless of if he is to be promoted or not. It's hard to be specific. While he didn't sustain any physical injuries, Levy Daniels is incapable of carrying out, well, anything, let alone the duties of a soldier. He needs to be relieved. I assumed when you introduced yourself, you were his replacement. Since you're not, he needs escorting back to Camelot. I'd have no problem with knocking the twat's teeth out, trust me. But people like him, and I need their support. Good. Your thoughts? I'll scout the enemy position. Get a clearer idea as to the readiness and numbers. We'll clear their position when you feel we're adequately prepared to repel a counterattack. Ever vigilant. Night. Night. Uh, just waiting around. It, what Richards means to say is that we're awaiting orders. That's what I said. Despite our rather calamitous start, we were actually successful. We managed to surprise the enemy, drove them into chaos, and took the objective with no other casualties. A complete shit show. Luckily, the daft, gormless bastards had no idea what was happening. So I guess it worked out, which is quite lucky, innit? Two hard workers amongst a shower of lazy, grumpy bastards. Well, we're ready for orders. I've heard other members of the squad may have uh, grievances, but it's not my place to say. It's all right, I suppose. Could be worse. Pretty sure we jotted these down somewhere. Yes, I submitted our suggestions that Knight Gawain was so kind as to record. We won't move an inch. How can I help, Knight? And I know exactly where to find one. I was patrolling nearby when I came across it. Looked in good nick, too. I started to remove the piece, but I felt something looming. Decided not to stick around. I don't want to commit to calling it a monster, per se, but it was absolutely terrifying. If I was dead, you'd have no detail at all. The most important skill when it comes to being a scout is staying alive. Are you sure? Your funeral, I guess. Here are the coordinates.
Great. More goons to deal with. It's about time to make you a knight. Well earned. How can I help you today? Of course. An army marches on its stomach, after all. I'll have the provisions sent to the front within the hour. How'd you do? I'm Damien. I'm a hunter by trade. My dad and my uncle taught me everything I know. No, I also help my mum out with her work while Dad's busy with his nightly duties. Goodbye.
How do you do it? How is it so easy for you? You're right. It's just... I still feel like I shouldn't have. I close my eyes and I see their faces. They had no idea what was happening. I suppose that was a point of sneaking up on them. Turns out they were screaming. Taking bets and beating the shit out of each other. Sure, it's must not have realized they were attack. Nobody fought back at all. I'm not sure they even knew what was happening until half of them were gone. But I can't get that look out of my head. How do you do it? How is it so easy for you? I close my eyes and I see their faces. They had no idea what was happening. I suppose that was a point of sneaking up on them. Turns out they were scrapping all night, taking bets and beating the shit out of each other. Stupid bastards must not have realized they were under attack. Nobody fought back at all. I'm not sure they even knew what was happening until half of them were gone. But I can't get that look out of my head. He was smiling. Uh, a big, idiotic grin. Turns out they must have been on something. Fighting for fun. He didn't stop smiling. Even when the blade cracked open his skull, he still smiled. It's just... The life behind his eyes, I don't know. Went somewhere, but the smile remained. He was covered in someone else's blood. That's what's so... I know this man killed. He enjoyed killing, so... Why? I can't forget his stupid fucking smile. Yes, I suppose, I suppose you're right, I, I think I'm going to go back to Camelot now, on my own. Another one? Bloody hell. At this rate, there'll be more knights than swords. Sergeant Pilly, reporting for duty. Ah, you're one of those. Just what we need, eh, lads? Another honorable job's worth. If you're gonna bother me with the same bullshit, I'll save you the bother. Look around you. We've got the outpost. The job's done. What else can I do for you? I don't think we do. She's in command. I accept that. I won't accept bogering about with a bunch of busy work because she needs to feel visible. We fought hard to take this outpost. Outnumbered, outgunned and on our own. Isn't that enough? Arthur will have us fighting again sooner than later. Why not rest while we can? Respectfully, I disagree. Hysterical bollocks. We don't have the manpower or the resources. By all means, feel free. It's not that I'm not keen. I've already done it. The good knight fancy bollocks considers herself beneath giving feedback. Explosives training requires we build five working landmines from scratch. Here are my minds. She said all but one were completely wrong and buggered off in a huff. How is that supposed to help? If I knew which one was wrong, I'd be able to learn from my mistake and repeat the correct process four more times. So, 
If you can figure out which of my minds are up to shape, I can finish the training without the risk of blowing myself up. Deal? What can I do for you, Knight? So, which one is it? Cheers. I'll crack it open and figure out what I did wrong. See, I knew it was that one. She couldn't have just confirmed it for me. Something about becoming a knight changes you. Where shall the winds take us today? Patience is key for the What's your business?
You've returned as a knight, no less. You'll be wanting to dip into my pocket for more of my timber, no doubt. Look, I realize there's a lot at stake. But Camelot doesn't feed my kids. Doesn't put clothes on my back. I'll send someone up with the timber. Take what you need for now, but my generosity has a limit. Greetings. Thank you. That means a lot. Most people want to forget what happened, like it's an inconvenience. Bye. I'm sure we'll find a use for that sometime. Land 
London is the place. Last I heard, you were sent to get our new frontier outpost up to scratch. Anything I can help you with? Can't help you there. Charity is a luxury reserved for better times, I'm afraid. The Fletchers and the Baileys might be able to help you. Best of luck. Anything I can help you with? Not asking for much, then. Well, the good news is I can send up the sandbags. The bad news is everything else ain't happening. Word to the wise, nobody in London has anything that explodes or shoots going spare unless they're aiming it at you. Best of luck. I scouted the enemy position, and I think it'd be good to engage as soon as possible. If you think we're ready, we can set things in motion. Those recommendations were extensive, yet you actually went out there and got them done single-handedly. Great work. Gather the squad, tell the men to get in position. What can I do for you, Knight? She's finally ready, is she? About bloody time. How can I help, Knight? Jeez, glad to have dodged the bullet there. Nice job for taking it out. I agree with the assessment of my commanding officers. As is much of life, sometimes you just have to embrace the chaos. I'll be there. Night. Night. Aye, sir. Ever vigilant. attention everyone so we've got a considerable number of hooligans held up in this industrial complex the way I see it we've got two approaches we can try to do this quietly or brute force very well let's stack the deck in our favor we should wait until dark last thing I want is to get caught with my trousers down while I'm setting a charge get into position and wait for my signal 
Once you see the sign, we'll need to throw everything at them. All clear? Good luck, and watch your backs. Dismissed. Hmm. Huh? End of the line! <laughs> Forget us in a hurry. Speak your mind. You have eyes. Use them. Someone there. You should have stayed Oi, Watch it. Let the rattle fly. <laughs> <laughs> What secrets do these data banks contain?
should be the last of them. Stand down! Thank you for all your help, Knight. We can take it from here. Squad dismissed! Speak your mind. Sidekick. Uh -huh. There. Camelot prevails. Ever vigilant. Anything catch your eye? Take a look. Until next time. London, there's a place for me. Look where you're going. Oi! Watch it! Ever vigilant. Knight, do you have any news for me? Fantastic news. That outpost secured. I feel a lot more secure. Thanks to your efforts, the fortress to the north will be a significant deterrent. This is that buffer zone you suggested. That it is. Good work. With this outpost secured, we can finally move on to the front foot. Knights, listen closely. Arthur, Merlin, Channing. <laughs> Breathe, Percival. Speak plainly. Or at least with a verb. Eastminster reports there's been an explosion at Charing Cross Station. This could be a blessing. We can put their weariness to rest by helping out. With Percival's anxiousness, there's more to the story, I'd wager. Merlin is right. Eastminster's already fingered a culprit. Us. Us? I didn't authorize a strike on Charing Cross. They're saying they've already pinned down the two knights responsible. I hate to ask more of you so soon, but I don't have anyone else I can spare. Will you look into it? That's a longer story than we've got time for today. Unfortunately, I do. But I won't sow dissent without evidence. Good to hear. Head out immediately. Patience is key, for the quest continues. I suppose you want to know more about Arthur's suspicions. You're right, but that still doesn't change the reality of the situation. If this cause is compromised, you need to know what you're walking into. I won't name names. Arthur's right. Without proper intel, guessing can only do us harm. There are some among us that wish he took a firmer hand in certain matters. 
If their zealotry has escalated to unsanctioned bombing, there's no telling what else they're ready to do. Proceed with caution, even among friends. What's your business? Hail, mate. Curious about Eastminster. It won't take but a second to understand the gist, and that might help you when your boots hit the ground there. Eastminster. Birth Camelot just as much as we did. Our hearts and minds were one back then. But skip to ceaseless riots, and some brutal retaliation by the gentry, and quite a few blame us for their current state. Don't be surprised by a thin veneer covering hostility. Many there tolerate us at best. Sivvy, who strolled to Islington. Surprised you're alive. Slipping in to cause more mayhem here. Can't say I much like that bunch, but this isn't their normal MO. Guessing Arthur didn't sign off on this one. I know you're capable and have a good head on your shoulders. It's obvious something's not right here. So if you can shed light on this, do it. If I were you, I'd check in with Lance Corporal Briggs. Claims to have seen who set off the bomb. See if you can make sense of what he's saying. Check every RFS. Can I help you? Greetings, civilian. Bold. Stop running around like a cock. If you're walking, you're not wounded. Treat yourself. First aid kits over there. Lieutenant Thorpe, you're in my infirmary. So who are you and what are you doing here? Speak to him. Best of luck there. Boom! Run! Uh, so much blood! Boom again! Run! Blood! Run! Gotta run! Find, find help! Boom! 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 Everything! Boom! Nothing! Blood! Boom! Boom! To run! Shelter blood! Boom! Run! Tunnels! Boom! Blood! Run! Boom! Hurt! Tunnels! Blood! Lots of blood! I can't keep sedating him every time you get him worked up. He said tunnels. Go and be a nuisance over there and leave me alone. 
You'd have to be insane to take on the Tommies. What can I help you find? Take a look. Farewell. We won't go quietly. You can count on that. You should consider enlisting. We need people like you. You lost. God save the Queen. Yep, don't mind me. Who's there? Fellow, huh? 
Not so sure about that anymore. The Raja. After we... After we set the charges, we ran for the tunnels. But the charges weren't synced. The first one blew while we were still within range. Nothing serious, but took the legs right out from under us. With our banged up legs, we limped into the tunnels. That's when the second charge blew. And that Raja woke up. Ran right past us to the mouth of the tunnel. The third charge blew and sprayed it with rubble and rubbish. That's when it noticed us. Angry, scared... Don't really know what it was, but it attacked. And that's when we realised our guns were back where we fell. Tristan held it off while I ran to unlock the door. This wasn't exactly a fully planned out mission. No, this was more desperation than anything. I know, we have no right to ask, but we need your help. We didn't want to attack Charing Cross, but, well... The... The fifth column have Tristan's family. My mum and brother. They promised to let them go if we blew up the station. But now I can't even walk, let alone make them hold up their end of the bargain. Please, help my family. They're at St Anne's Churchyard. You'll see we're not lying when you get there. it elsewhere. Try here. Quality goods at fair prices. Bye. Civilian, state your purpose. Oh, fine. Head on in. Speak to Tucker. The pissant send a maggot, huh? The politics is a matter. We're soldiers, you and I both. We get our orders and follow them. Except I follow them gladly. You see, Camlet is finished. We'll pick you off one by one. Just like what I'll do to Tristan. Or should I say, John Cliffero. Did you know his real name? A little nightly birdie whistled it in my ear. Cliffero. What a pathetic name. Why don't we just skip the pleasantries and get right to killing you? That was the plan for those pissants after all. Loose ends and whatnot. Who the heck? It's a comrade! Shit! <laughs> Fuck! That! Fuck! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you. We're heading back to Eastminster. Let my boy know we're safe. Those assholes won't come knocking again. I'll make sure of it. Did you rescue Tristan's family? A strong, proud family. If you know his real name, you've already met up with the column. What of my family? And my family? Thank God. Bless you. So what now, Tristan? We can't exactly return to Camelot. We head to Eastminster too. Not dressed like this, we aren't. They're hunting two knights. I guess we don't really have the right to wear these clothes anyway. Not anymore. Please, give this to Arthur, and thank you for all you've done for my family. Hail, mate. Be more careful. There's Be a war more on. careful. There's a war on. Look where you're going. Our people in Eastminster aren't responding. Do we fear the worst? More likely they're in hiding. Or no longer support us. Is that likely? More so than I'd like to admit. Looks like we might have more than hearsay to paint the picture. Oh, you've returned. What of Charing Cross Station? We feared it was them. Isult's pushed us to be more aggressive. I guess she grew tired of waiting. And I suppose the lovers poetically perished like their namesakes.
certainly not. So they've left without so much as a word. This signature saddens me more than anything I could have expected. But I respect his decision. And I'm assuming there's still more to the story, as you said. I can only imagine the suffering. We've lost more than Charing Cross, then. Is there still a path forward for us here? Unlikely. We need more information. What else do we know? I haven't heard of this. It's likely they told him not to tell anyone. Or his family would get it. He still should have come to us. It's his family. It is his family. But this put a lot of families in harm's way. Just look at the destruction. Not to mention our standing in Eastminster. That will hurt us for a long time. Hurt us? It damn near cripples us. Agreed. And we still don't know enough to make a decisive counter. Why target Tristan in the first place? Is there anything more? Let me see that. A spy in Camelot? It can't be. Uh, I would have... They know our names. Our true names. This is bona fide. That must be how they picked up the Clitheroes. This is all my fault. Forget it. But we can sort this out later. Is there anything else to report? Where? Not likely to win back support anytime soon. We need to consider how to spin this. Can we spin this? Arthur, we'll make a full report on what's possible, but no, it looks bleak. And we have another issue. What else could there be? The empty chair. Our friend here has more than proven themselves. They really have. They've proven fair, competent, and a friend to us all. I, Arthur, do hereby offer you a seat at my table. And while I may be the first among equals, here your voice will carry the weight and power equal to any other knight. As you accept this honor, I rechristen you with your heraldic name, Gaheris. Arise, Sir Gaheris, and join us as we prepare to battle for Camelot's soul. What the? Did you hear that? What's that noise? I heard it. Bloody hell! Arthur! Arthur! Uh, what is it? Speak! Me. It's the Tommies. From all sides, they're everywhere. Everywhere! How it did you not be. hear of this? Dear right God. at our doorstep! Those bastards! Quiet! We don't have time for this. We must fight! This is war. War? Percival, inform all patrols of these events. Gawain, head to the barracks and rally the infantry. Bedivere, Lancelot, you must protect the northern courtyard. Garris, go with them. Show them what a knight of Camelot can do. It's either victory or the grave, my friends. Go, go! Go! Junk. Junk. Lovely junk. And here I thought I would never be <sighs> the great Lancelot in battle. Don't be so cheerful. We're being attacked after all. Indeed we are. What would you rather me do? Cry into a pint as you do every night. Why are you mocking me instead of focusing on the battle? Perhaps it's because fate is on our side. And by fate, I'm referring to Geheris. Look alive, Lancelot. We're making history. You have eyes. Here. Use them. Oi! Watch it.
over that breach. hold this position. We're needed at the main gate. Rather, you are. Me and Geharis will go around the outside and flank them. Just be careful. You two. Geharis! Jallo! someone like you in our past battles, Geharis. I'm glad you're on our side. contact with Percival when the Tommies broke into the keep. They've taken over the place. And Percival... He's still inside. Curse that man! Geharis, clear the keep. Find our little radio feed. I'll go with you. But never pass. Thank <laughs> you. 
Arthur shall hear of this. Who's there? Identify yourself. Better check that out. Greetings. to remember them. Mm. I can't <laughs> hide from the revolution. <laughs> Why are they always... <laughs> Took you long enough. Some thanks wouldn't be much appreciated. Thanks are earned, not given out freely. You hear it. Once you've cleared out this building, meet Arthur and Merlin at the southern courtyard. Good luck. Don't get captured again, Percival. Harris, I'm glad you are safe. Merlin was injured in our escape. Don't worry about me. It'll take much more than an errant bullet to kill this servant of Camelot. Merlin, this isn't the time for pompous claims. I disagree. This is the perfect time. Your soldiers need some pomp to get through this long night. Of course. Gaheris with me. We'll meet the other knights and push the Tommies out of our land. Arthur? 
This is it. The last remaining Tommies are just past here, huddled around a makeshift artillery site. Crafty bastards. Once we take down the artillery, they'll run back to their masters, no doubt about it. Which still doesn't answer the question of how the bloody Tommies managed to sneak up on us. Questions of a later. Now we have to attack. Wait. If this is the final push, I have some words for you. Not just my knights, but all of Camelot. My friends, my people, one more battle awaits us. If any of you do not have the stomach for this fight, then leave. You will not be punished, you will not be pursued. For I do not wish to die in your company. Today is a day of battle, but tomorrow we will feast. For whoever outlives today will stand for all time by my side. For the one who sheds their blood with me shall be my brother, no matter who they are or were. There is no past, no future, only today. Only this battle. Raise your arms, my people, and know that those who did not join us today will forever curse themselves for not standing by our side. Let history remember us. Let history know our name. Fight! It's time. Let's... What a bloody waste. Reveal yourself. Arthur, sir. Let me see that. We've won the battle, but the war is still not over, Geheris. There is one more thing you must do. Percival has been trying to contact the Northern Outpost, the one we put under Gawain's command. But so far, we've heard nothing but static. It could well be their equipment was destroyed, or maybe... 
Well, I can't help but imagine the worst. Go to the northern outpost, Geheris, and report their status back to me. for me you're Gawain's friend aren't you the knight who came to help us thank you because of your training we managed to hold back the Tommies and save the outpost your training it stuck with him when the Tommies attacked us he jumped on a grenade and saved the entire squad's life we're all only here because of him when you return to Arthur, tell him to honor our friend's name, please. What's your business? Look where you're going. Welcome back, Geheris. What news do you bring? How interesting. May the box record Pilly's name, elevating him past the status of mere number. The battle is won, but the cost is great. No time for celebrations, Geheris. At least for us. We have to keep working. This attack was carefully planned, especially by Tommy standards. They must have received advanced intel. That letter mentioned friends at the museum. I'd wager the fifth column spy in our ranks is sending information to the Tommies. This must be dealt with. Get Lancelot, 
He's probably at the tavern. He'll help you route out the spy. Best of luck.